an online shopping application with Spring, JPA and web service. So requirements are like this. We need to design a web application using Spring MVC to display the list of items. Choose an item for purchase. Can enter credit card details and submit the order. So the home page looks like this with a link to proceed to the page which displays the items. So this looks like this. Display all the items with the item ID, name, price, category and quantity with the form for ordering the item where the user is supposed to enter the ID. Further, credit card number and all the user details. If the purchase is success, display success message. If there is an error, display the error message. For credit card authentication, the service layer will have a method to fetch data from the web service. And if the authentication succeeds, proceed to the down layer. So in the architecture, we have the JSPS client, shopping controller, a shopping service, shopping DAO, connecting to database through Hibernate, and the service layer will be connected to the web service. So the APIs are shopping controller, shopping service IMPL, shopping DAO IMPL, an order, an item, and whatever is required in addition to this. Create a dynamic web project and a web you can see dynamic web project say next give a project name online shopping select apache tomcat 8.5 choose the installation directory for the Tomcat, select the JRE, next, next in WebXML, check that, finish. openweb.xml since we need only index.jsp remove others create that index.jsp copy the name of the file create a jsp file Next, finish. So this is the online shopping page, so home page. So you will come to online shopping. Tested the running. Run as on server. Choose the Tomcat as a server. Finish. Started.
So copy the URL to your browser and it's fine, it's done. It's working. Add a link anchor href equal to proceed and the text is proceed to home page. So we can see the link on the browser. Make it proceed.obj and we'll map it in the web XML. So mention the servlet and Sublet mapping tags. Sublet name, call it spring, put it in the mapping also. servlet class and under mapping you will have url pattern so star.obj that means any url ending with obj dot obj is expected here will be mapped to the spring servlet need to add the jars You can see these are the spring jars. These are the spring jars. It also includes the hibernate jars. So, so the servlet classes org dot spring framework dot web dot servlet dot dispatcher servlet from the front end we can see we have proceed dot obj as the reference in web xml star dot obj is mapped to dispatcher servlet and let's run it and see Okay. So go to the browser, refresh, click on the link. So it has given an error. It is saying, it is searching for a resource spring-servlet.xml. So create an XML file with that name, which spring is, which spring is asking for. Next, finish. So you can see that Spring is the name of the servlet, and Spring hyphen servlet.xml is a configuration file. So put the root tag beans. Close it. So we can see the XML namespaces, the XSI, the context, MVC, and transaction. Hmm. TX. Now run it. Again, click on the link. Now there is no exception. But 
the resource is not found because we don't have a mapping for that proceed dot obj next thing is that log 4j is not having any appenders that's because the properties file for the logger is missing so in the src folder put log 4j dot properties it looks like this so my log dot log so put it in the path g colon slash logs my log dot log this is a or you can say shopping dot log g colon slash log slash shopping dot log so the root logger is rolling file so rolling file is related which is shopping dot log is the file max size is 2 mb max backup index is 2 at a time at a time only 2 files will be there the old one is removed so now run it so it doesn't have the log for jr now now add mvc colon annotation driven so that we can provide the configuration through annotations and also context colon component scan the base package will be com.abc so spring will search for the components within this package including the sub package Next, create a class shopping controller in com.abc.controller package. Annotate this shopping controller with at the rate controller. Create a method public string show items. Create this with a traced request mapping with value equal to slash proceed dot uh, with value is equal to slash proceed, which is as marked in the index dot JSP. return the string display and create a JSP display dot JSP
we are at an online shopping home page with available items Now create a bean. Class equal to org dot spring framework dot web dot servlet dot view dot internal resource view resolver. And it has two properties. One is prefix and the other is suffix so prefix is slash and suffix is dot jsp So what Spring will do, the string display returned from the controller method show items will be mapped to a view that is slash display dot JSP. So let us run it. Click on the link and we can see available items displayed there in display.jsp so what happens is from the index.jsp we, we click on proceed to home page so which is proceed.obj is a uhf which is mapped in the web xml a start to widget dispatches server which in turn dispatches it to the dispatches it to the controller and since it's annotation driven and component scan is mentioned that spring will search in com.abc for the controller it is mapped here as controller and there is a request mapping with proceed as the value the url is mapped to show items and from show item displays returned which is mapped by the internal resource review resolver to display.jsp declare a parameter model inside the show items and create a list of item item list declare null We have to create the item class in a bean package. Create some fields, private in the ID. Create the fields private int id, private string name, private double price, private string category, private int quantity, and create the constructors 
to string and getter setters. Declare a private shopping service, name a service in the package service and change and initialize item list with the return value of service.getItems So create that in the interface. Now for the implementation of this interface, create a class, the same service package, call it shopping service IMPL. Add the interface, shopping service, Okay, finish. Now we have the implementation of shopping service, which in turn will have a field private shopping DAO is DAO. Create the interface in DAO layer, it will be DAO package. Now return from this get items of service IMPL is DAO dot get items. So create the method in the interface shopping DAO. Create the class which is implementation of this shopping DAO interface and In the shopping controller, the shopping service field has to be auto wired. So Spring will take care of creating the object of shopping service IMPL and initializing the shopping service 
declaration in the shopping controller. Similarly, auto wear the shopping DAO also. I am mentioning the annotation auto wear. The shopping service AMPL has to be annotated with transactional and at the rate service. Spring will create a proxy object of a class auto generate at runtime and wraps around this pin. All external calls will go through the proxy. The bean does not know about it. Service annotation indicates that this is a service layer class and holds business logic. The shopping DAO AMPL has to be annotated with the transaction and repository. Now run it. Click on the link. It's okay. Now into the model add attribute this item list. Call it I list. And in the display.jsp mention dollar in braces I list, which is an expression language. Now click and see. So Shopping DAO MPL create an instance of list item list and add one item into it and return this item list instead of none. Now, list of items dollar curly brace I list inside display JSP will give some value. Click on the link and see the output. So I list in the JSP file it refers to the I list mentioned as an attribute in the model which is got from shopping service IMPL which returns get items of DAO and DAO layer is returning a list. So that is how it reads the reads the view.
into the JSP, add the tag blip declaration on top. URI is http colon slash slash java dot sun dot com slash JSP slash JSTL slash code. Give it a prefix, say C, and use it inside your JSP. Now we need to mention all the fields of the item inside a JSP. So we can mention ID, name, price, category, quantity. In a table format, so make it border equal to one. So you can see the border. So remove the double border by Machine style border collapse collapse. Now add the rows, the table and C colon for each. For each where equal to item and items equal to dollar brace I list for each of the items in the list repeating this row of the table. So item dot id these are all fields of the item name price category quantity so run it and click on the link we can see the list of items displayed in the row of the table We need to use JPA Hibernate to fetch data from the database from the DAO earlier. So declare entity manager EM. A 
annotate it with persistence context. Now use the namespace tx and mention annotation driven so that Spring can detect the components for transaction in the package. So transaction manager is again a beam whose ID is transaction manager. The class is org spring framework ORM JPA JPA transaction manager which has a property name is entity manager factory we'll refer it to entity manager factory another beam so create it ID will be entity manager factory so this is to be injected into the JPA transaction manager classes local container entity manager factory bean in org spring framework ORM JPA package again this has a property four are there first is data source second is packages to scan third is persistence provider class and fourth is JPA property map so the packages to scan value will be com dot abc and the provider class is org hibernate jpa hibernate persistence provider jpa property map has the map as the value which has entry with the key and value two of them are there the first key will be hibernate or dialect and value is for the particular database here org hibernate dialect mysql dialect the second key will be hibernate hbm to ddl dot auto value will be update in this case you can create the table and also update the table and data source will be another bean so we'll refer it as d source so create the bean whose id is d source The class will be org spring framework JDBC data source dot driver manager data source. So it has properties, four of them. The first is driver class name, the second is URL. 
the third is username and the fourth is password these are database parameters so this is com mysql jdbc driver the driver class name for that particular database url is jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost spring spring is a database and the username and password root and root you need to change this as per your database so transaction manager refer to the bean transaction manager which is jpi transaction manager which has an entity manager factory which is local container entity manager factory bean which has all the properties the data source which is driver manager data source again having the database connection parameters now in the sh shopping dao ampl we'll use this entity manager to get the list of items so the query is select item from item item is alias use a typed query so it can be typed to or item query is equal to em dot create create query with the string and the class so string is the query to be fired and class is the item dot class now the list of items item list equals query dot get result list so hibernate will take care of fetching every row creating an item and populating it and then adding it to the list so put a try catch in case of there is an exception we'll do the error handling in the controller later so make the item as an entity annotate with at the rate entity and at the rate table with name equal to the table name in the database item underscore hib also the id which is a primary key should be annotated with at the rate id we 
we can see in the database item underscore hib so let us see what data is there in the item underscore hib so these are the records available so it gets populated in item each record and added to the list which is returned to the controller and which we are putting in the model with i list so that is displayed in the front end in the jsp so run it so check in the front end click on the link it's loading from database and we can see display it's exactly as it is in the database now for the negative testing create a backup of the table delete all records in the item hib table now check again in the front end it is displaying the header which is not right so we need to put a condition here display these things only if data is there in database so use the prefix c for the jstl and c choose and display these details only when there is a condition c when test is equal to use the expression language dollar braces i list we can use directly the method dot size greater than 0 so the when will end at end of table and there is another way here c other ways display the fact that there is no data no items were found check again is showing correctly no items were found drop the table and create it from the backup table So now it's populating the data from the database using Hibernate. Now we need to submit this form after taking the data from the user. So user, so tag lib Spring Framework or tags form and prefix is used as form here. So create a form. form colon form so action will be 
another URL placeorder.opg with module attribute as S item which we need to create in the controller. So create an item and add it as a attribute to the model with the S item as the name which we are referring to in the front end. New item is just an empty object which will be automatically populated from by spring from the details in the front end as inserted in the form. So use a input form call an input path will be id which is actually the field of the item class so type will be text value will be blank is submit which submits the it's actually a button which submits the form value will be the label on the button so let us say place order refresh the page click on the link and we can see here enter item id and button with place order now we need to map the place order in the controller create a method public string place order annotate this with at the rate request mapping value equal to slash place order copied from the JSP form add a parameter item and a parameter model annotate the parameter item with at the rate model attribute and mention the value equal to s item which is mapped from the front end return a string order so the view will be order.jsp so create the jsp order dot jsp so this is an order item page but 
purchase order form so print the item there in the place order method run it and refresh click on the link enter the item id say 1001 click on place order we can see this is how it has come with 1001 as the id so it is displaying the order.jsp so in the place order method we fetch the item from the service layer so item item equal to service dot get item and pass the item to the method create the method in the interface and implement it in the IMPL class add an implemented methods and here in turn use the DAO layer to fetch the item so get item and pass the item to it create the method in shopping down and implement it in the DAO MPL so item item is equal to em dot find item dot class is the first parameter second one is the id of the item item dot get id this has come from the front end where the user has entered it and return item So in the controller, print the ITM which has come from database. So we can check it. Refresh. Click on the link. Enter the item ID. Say 1003 and place the order so here we can see it has fetched the item from the database for id 1003 so the double layer is returned an item from the database by searching for the ID of the item as per the ID given from the front end. Now run it. Click on the link. Add a wrong ID which is not present in the database. So we see that item from DB is null. We need to handle this. So in the controller we can check it if item not equal to null if item is not equal to null create a card
create the class card in the beam package add the fields private int id private string card number private string name private date expiry private int cvv and private int item id on date mention the notation at the rate date time format and provide the pattern in double quotes y y y y hyphen mm hyphen dd because in the front end this is the format in html5 create all the constructors both default and the field to string and get a status now set the item id to the card this is item dot get id to the model add the attribute name is c item and card so in the order dot jsp we can check it refresh the page click on the link enter item id 1003 place order we can see the purchase order form and the card with 1003 item id now enter an id which is not existing and click on the place order we can see that a null has come from the database add the tag lib core as well as form add the tag c choose and c when test equal to dollar c item and put the condition c item not equal to null and c otherwise if the test fails for c1 display dollar c item and for c otherwise display card not found test it now we can see card not found give the right value we can see the value has come from the database put the heading also inside the c1 test condition and for c otherwise put a h2 tag with the message add a form 
form colon form with action equal to by item dot obj and model attribute c item which will be mapped to the model in the controller so include a table we need all this details of the card in the order.jsp so include 5 rows the card number name expiry cvv and item id include form colon input path equal to card number which is actually in the card class type is text values double quotes blank similarly include the other fields as text field for name expiry cvv item id add one more row for input type is submit value will be the label on the button by item refresh and click on the link enter the item id to order place order we can see the order dot jsp so in the controller we have the model with the attribute c item which is the card and it is mapped to the front end so item id is already there existing so that is being displayed so we need to map the by item dot obj with another method public string by item with parameter card and model add a return statement quotes success annotate this method with a thread request mapping and value will be slash by item copied from the order.jsp so print the card so values entered by the user will be displayed here so 
so we need a jsp success.jsp create it so title will be item purchased h1 there item successfully purchased <coughs> need to annotate the card parameter with model attribute which is having a value as c item refresh and test it enter the item id the correct one place order we can see displayed so enter the card number name the expiry date cvv by item so it is taken from database correctly and success.jsp has been displayed so now write the code in by item in controller order equal to service dot by item pass the card to it so service layer will take care of it and return an order so create another class order again in the bean package add the fields private int id private string cust name private long cust mobile private int item id private int quantity and private date purchase date add the constructors to string and getter setters now create the method by item in the service interface shopping service implement it in the IMPL add unimplemented methods and return sdao dot by item Pass the card to it. Create the method in shopping DAO interface and implement it in the IMPL. Add unimplemented methods. Return an order object. So declare it order order equal to new order instantiated item item is equal to em dot find item dot class and the id which is there in the card card dot get item id print it item equal to or item plus item item the print it item item now set the details in the order object order dot set cust name card dot get name
order dot set item id atm dot get id it's retrieved from the database then em dot persist order so this will save the order object in the database return the order we need to annotate the order class at the rate entity at the rate table with the name as per the database order underscore hib also annotate the id because it will be the primary key at the rate id also generated value we want to auto increment it strategy is equal to generation type dot auto it will take care of the id generation database will do it now in the controller we can print the order check in the database so we have order underscore hib the purchase date is not as per the column so at the rate column name equal to the actual name in the database which is purchase underscore date all others are okay so again order dot set purchase date new date this is current date now refresh the page and click on the link enter item id put place order add the card details name date cvv and click on buy so let's see database yes it has been entered so we need to add one more field set quantity for now let us see one refreshing so refresh the so by item now check database you can see quantity is one now mobile is missing we don't have a field for mobile So add the mobile number in the card. Also the quantity in the card. This will help us take it from the front end to the back end. Add the getter setter. Add another constructor. With all values and remove it to string and add it again to print all the values. Model dot add attribute with the name O item and order as the object. So O item can be referred to in the JSP success.jsp. 
so we can display the details of the order so here o item can be printed in the DAO layer we can set the cust mobile in the order and also quantity card dot get quantity can be set in the order as order dot set quantity and we need corresponding fields in the order dot gsp so mobile and quantity the path should be mapped as in the card so mobile path is mobile and quantity path is quantity start refresh click on the link enter item id place order add card number add the details and we can see in the JSP the output is there and is also entered in the database make it a better display print all the fields of the order so order id will be dollar o item dot id similarly all other details of the order now check it again refresh click on link enter the id place order enter the card details and click on buy item and we can see the details of the order check it in the database in order underscore HAV we can see it is come in the service layer when we call the DAO layer for the buy item with the card we need to verify if the card is valid so create a field private card service inside the shopping service IMPL auto wire it by annotation auto wired so create this class card service in the service layer finish use it in the method by item so boolean card valid 
equals card service card service dot validate card and pass the card to it create the method and put a if condition if card valid then only go to the double layer else return none so now possibility of null is there in the order so handle it in the controller if order equal equal null in the model add attribute error for error and put a message card validation failed and return fail else in the normal course success is written so we need a jsp for the fail create it fail dot jsp and within its three type mention that error dollar error In the card service method validate card mention boolean valid equal to false and call the web service here and get the value from the web service valid true or false then return the valid annotate this class at the rate transactional and at the rate service so that spring can detect this for creating its proxy next is the credit card web service create a new java project name it credit card web service choose the jdk next finish create a folder for the library jars 
lib and add all the jars so these are the jars we use jersey here add all the jars to the library create a class call it card service in package com.abc.card finish annotate with a create path and give the url slash card define a method public card object card details we are going to return json so use a object annotate this method with at the read path with slash details and for the parameters in braces card number name and cvv with slash in between add create the class in the bean package finish create the object card object co is equal to null and instantiate it co is equal to new card object returns you create a field in the card object private string card number private string name private date expiry and private int cvv create all the constructors to string and getter setter methods now annotate that method card details with the thread get this will map for the http get method and thread produces this is a return type so media type dot application underscore json so whoever is calling the restful service will get a json object so add the parameters corresponding to card number name and cvv and mark all this with the annotation at the rate path param and in bracket double quotes the same string within the path the cvv is there 
for CVV. For name it is name and card number is card number. You could print it here to check what the values have come. Use the parameterized constructor of card object. To initialize the fields. Just pass on the card number, name and CVV to the constructor. And for testing the current date. Create a main class to publish this web service. Card service publish with the package com.abc.main Create a main method main control space bar declare the URI string URI equal to http colon slash slash localhost colon 9203 which is the port number slash service this is the base URI create http server server equal to http server factory dot create and pass the uri to it surround so with try and catch Then say server dot start. Put the message in this out. Server is running. So, so input stream system dot in dot read will make the control wait for the keyboard input of enter once the user pre presses enter it goes ahead and server.stop is executed and display server is stopped so display that fact so press enter to stop the server Now your web server is ready. Run it. You can see the card server is loaded. So open the browser, paste the base URL slash card details and the three parameters. You can see that it's come in the web service where we have printed the details and it's also returned the JSON so now we need to go to the database to confirm that these are 
valid. So create an interface card DAO in the card service. Create the interface. in the DAO layer. Now in the constructor we can initialize it with the implemented class. So card DAO is equal to new card DAO IMPL. Create the class in the DAO layer again. Use that, use the card DAO to return a card object. So card DAO dot get card object and pass the card number it. So create the method in the interface and implement it in the IMPL. Add unimplemented methods. So in this get card object of card of IMPL, create the card object COB is equal to null and return the COBG. So we need to check that. If CO is equal to null. In that case, we remove the name, date and CVV. We put null values and 0 for CVV. So JSON will have null values. Hence return the CVV. Now add the jars in the HIB folder. So these are the jars. We'll use JPA. So annotate the card object with other identity, other table a name equal to card underscore HIV and card number will be the primary key so annotate with the at the rate ID the date should be marked with at the rate temporal to get the date format So temporal type will be date. So write the Hibernate code GPA. Entity manager em is equal to gpa util dot get entity manager. So we have to create this class gpa util. So create it in util package. So 
entity in the jpa it will declare a field entity manager em and create the get entity manager method in this and put a condition if em is equal to null then instantiate it and return em so make that em static because this is a static call so entity manager factor emf is equal to persistence dot create entity manager factory so create a folder meta hyphen anf and add the persistence dot xml Here you write the persistence unit name, say card identity. This has to be copied and put in the method create entity manager factory. So this is your persistence unit. So em is equal to emf dot create entity manager, which will instantiate the entity manager. Once you get the entity manager, we can use it cobg is equal to em dot find the class will be card object dot class and this is the id which is the card number and return the cobg Put a try catch here. If any error is there, so the COBG is initialized only if everything is fine with the database. The COBJ is otherwise null. And that is handled in the card service. Again, run it. And check on the browser. So we can see it is there in database. We can see the correct details. put one more check if co equal equal null or co dot validate bracket card number name and cvv not of that so it doesn't validate so create a method in the card object that way it will be easier to compare if the card number 2 equals card number and 
and also name to equals name and also cvv to equal equal cvv in that case return true else it will return false so this will tell the details sent from the front end or the client is valid now for the date declare a new date for the current date and check the date of expiry today compared to expiry this also can be put in the if condition if diff is less than 0 that means today is before expiry check again this is the correct values so it is correct we got the right object modify the expiry date to 2017 which is before the current date just to flush out the memory object refresh it check now now it is come null the expiry date failed set it back to 2025 clear and restart and check now it has come correct let us run the web service from the command line go to the folder where the project is there so it's here credit card web service folder this is the workspace of eclipse so we need to include all the jar files in the path so we need to set the class path The class is there. So open a command line here cmd on the address bar. So get the list of the jars dir by b by s. It is blank and search star dot jar and write it into a list dot txt. So list is here. So from current location, we will take the path. Remove other things. Replace the remaining path with semicolon. And right here, set class path equal to percent class path. That is the current class path semicolon jar file include all the jar files
plus we need the path of the com folder so slash bin from the current folder and also the current folder where we are going to run the application make the java style of separator that is backslash to friend slash so we have the complete list of jars to be set in the class path we will make it a batch file so to run it java com dot abc dot main dot card service publish copy the name go back to the folder rename it as run ws dot bad now it will execute if you double click on this or directly we can run run ws on the command line we can see it is loaded all the jar files is waiting for you to press enter to stop it has loaded the card service test it give the right values change the CVV and see it is giving the null value so it's working we can see the output on the command line where we have put a sysout now we can continue with the web service being called from the main application so go to the online shopping and go to the card service class call restful web service So this is what we should call and we'll replace all the card number name and CVV with the values we obtain from the card object declare the string URI equal to the root URI of the web service up to the details The user agent will be Mozilla by 
append the URA with card number, name and CVV from the card. So URA is plus equal to so URA plus equal to card dot get card number by card dot get name by card dot get CVV. Print the URA for testing. Run the application. So it's running, copy the path, put in another tab of the browser, maximize the console and check. Enter the item ID, the correct one. So success in database. Give the card details, the correct one. We can see the URA has come with the, the correct values. Continue coding. So Java dot net dot URL URL is equal to new URL and pass the string to it. This will create a URL object. Try catch it. Exception is malformed URL exception. Create a HTTP URL connection con equal to URL dot open connection. Add cast and add catch clause. It may throw IO exception. So we need to set the request method con dot set request method get
con dot set request property which is the user agent which will be Mozilla 5.0 which we are declared on top create a buffered reader reader equal to new buffered reader and pass a input stream reader to it new input stream reader which requires the input stream get input stream from the connection now we are ready to read from the stream declare a string input line equal to blank string buffer string builder sb equal to string builder response equal to new string builder put a while loop while input line equal to reader dot read line if this is not equal to null means end of the stream is not reached in that case response dot append input line declare a delimiter which is the next line string delim equal to system dot get property line dot separator depending on os the string will be different so we let us keep it os independent close the stream by saying reader dot close declare string val equal to response dot to string so we copy that into the val and just check it by putting a sysout So while has come from the web service. Click on the link. Enter the item ID. Add the card details. by item we can see the value there it has come from the web service as a json object a 
our application is able to access the web service and get the response. Declare a map. We would like to store the key value from the JSON. JSON map equal to new hash map. We will create another method which will parse the JSON and return the JSON map, which is a map. Pass the value to the getJSON map method. And print the JSON map. Create the method. Declare the map. Which is the key map. As hash map. Map key map equal to new hash map. Create a JSON parser. JSON parser parser equal to new JSON parser. JSON object obj equal to parser dot parse and pass the val to it add cast to JSON object it throws exception parse exception try catch it Declare a set key set equal to obj dot key set. Put a for each loop for this key set for key obj of type object in key set object j obj is equal to obj dot get key obj. So this returns the value corresponding to the key obj. And check which type it is if jobj instance of json object a different code will be there 
else if j o b j instance of json array a different code else do something else so if it is json object cast that jobj to json object if it is json array type cast it to json array better to change the type of the map to object to prevent unnecessary casting so put the value into key map this key map dot put key obj comma j obj for each of the key obj the corresponding jobj is put in the map and return this key map so replace the return type also with the generic type map obj object object here also in the validate card method also change that declaration map object comma object we'll test it again if the map is being generated add card details click on buy item we can see the map is correct key values as expected do a negative testing with cvv wrong and we can see an exception has been thrown there is a bug in the code it got appended to the URA because it is declared as a field it is remembering the old URA So shift that declaration inside the method. Start again. Click on the link, enter item ID, 
place order enter the card details by item surname do the negative testing wrong cvv yeah we can see now the json map is having name null expiry null so we are able to access the web service correctly Continuing with the coding. Put a check now. If JSON map dot get double quotes name is equal to null. or json map dot get expiry equal to null then valid becomes false declare the valid as true it becomes false only if name or expiry is null test it click on the link enter the item id add the card details it's working fine give the wrong cvv it is returning a failure notice card validation failed our json object this is fine but we need to put some code in case the value of jobj is json object or a json array so from the json obj get the key set so set key set inner equal to json obj dot key set so write the code for key obj inner of type object in key set inner cast it to 
ऑब्जेक्ट जेसन ओबीजे इनर इक्वल टू जेसन ओबीजे डॉट गेट के की ओबीजे इनर एंड देन पुट इन द इनर मैप इनर मैप डॉट पुट की ओबीजे इनर कॉमा जेसन ओबीजे इनर सेम विथ जेसन एरे गेट द की सेट फॉर द एरे एंड put it in the inner map the key and the value and then put the inner map as a value in the main map key map so we can check all the three values if json map dot get name not equal to null and JSON map dot get expiry not equal to null and CVV val not equal to zero. In that case, valid equal to true. Else the default can be returned, which is false. Test it again. Enter the item ID. Place order. Enter the enter the card details and click on buy item. Is accessing the okay. Is accessing the web service. is working correct change the cvv negative testing failure notice so you can see on the web service also the value is available there Now for the exception handling part, define a public method, public string handler is, which takes exception as a parameter. And return a string shopping error the JSP corresponding this corresponding to this has to be created annotate this method as at the rate exception handler and declare the class as a attribute rate so create the JSP file new JSP shopping error dot JSP it's an error page I'll just write an error occurred please try after some time I 
now we need to declare this as a error page is error page equal to true default is false and you can get the exception here less than percent equal to exception dot it's an implicit object of JSP dot get message this message will come from the controller To create an error, we will drop the table first after loading it from the database. So we can see that an error occurred. This is because of the missing table. We'll put our own type of exception. So try catch your code and throw a custom exception. Let us call it shopping exception. New shopping exception with a message. So we'll declare that in a separate class shopping message dot error in db so create that exception class in exception package finish create the message class shopping message in a util package and create the constant And put the message here. Say error fetching data from database. This the user will see. You should be careful. So we need to create the constructor for that. The message as a parameter to the constructor, pass it to the super. The super will store it. Now add a throws declaration. So it's a shopping exception, so we need handler for this. So the handler has to be corrected for this exception change that exception to shopping exception so we can decide on the error message
Hibernate creates a table, so we let it drop it once it is used. So no items were found because it created the table but it is empty. And drop the table. Now again check. Now it's right. An error of it, please try after some time. There are fetching data from database. Test it again. So here we have an issue. It is displaying that form in case the table is empty. So we should not do it. Now put it inside the when clause. So it is not displayed anymore. items are found and form is not displayed. So everything is fine. Thank you.